So the Game of Thrones is set in a realm known as Westeros and it's a place that experiences extreme summers and as we've seen recently extreme winters. Winter is coming and it's been such a great journey all the way up there. But what happened is a long time ago or a while ago back in 2013 a group of astronomers released a paper that suggested that it could actually be a real place and the actual area that it looks like is this so if we just come out a little bit here look so that's westeros over there and if we look these are the two stars that are going around now let's just speed this up a little bit okay so this is how it's saying it could potentially behave so it could actually move a little bit like this so it's got two stars and westeros is actually moving in and out of the distance between it looks so right right now look you'd have a winter and if we look at the temperatures on here look minus 64 degrees and as it gets nearer to the star then you're going to see that temperature go up and down which is going to result in some extreme weather on there so i thought let's play around with this universe a little bit and just see what we can do with it now if we were to put our sun into the middle of here now this could be really different so let me just slow this down uh let's slow it down even more let's just slow it down to like here and let's add in our sun so if we put the earth's sun into the center of this <laughs> let's just have a look how this pans out oh and look so the stars in the middle will actually go flat look it just knocks them out of orbit oh <laughs> and that's just blown up one of the stars which just sent westeros flying out into nowhere where did westeros even go where what no seriously where did it go we lost westeros people i wonder if it just got destroyed Oh, it's definitely gone, look. Oh, and look at this. That is that is all that is left. <laughs> when it just goes supernova. So that was uh that was Westeros. Let's just try that again. Let's just go let's put let's reset this. Okay, so as we were, back to Westeros. So this is it again. So it's orbiting around here, look, and then these are the two stars. So if we put our sun in the middle, it actually blows up. But what if we were to put maybe what if we put a black hole in the middle instead? So what if we had a black hole into the middle where the suns are? Oh, oh yeah, that's not good. Okay, that's just sending everything just crazy. We'll slow that down a little bit. Oh, look, so it sent one of the suns off into nowhere. Where's the other one gone? Oh, the black hole's actually left. <laughs> He's out of there. Oh, and look, so Westeros is now following. Is he going to like reorbit? It never quite crashes. It kind of just follows the star. I wonder how that would affect the gravity of the actual star, though. So it almost meets it all the time in this kind of intertwining pattern look. See if it does it again, look. It's almost... Although it's moving, it's actually stable. Could this actually be a thing? Is I mean, how realistic are these simulations? That's really interesting. So Westeros could actually follow... A super fast moving star. The only problem is you couldn't live on there because it goes down to minus minus 124 degrees. Okay, that's just making me sick. <laughs> but it's just kind of following the star look in this kind of pattern, which is nuts. Okay, so let's reset Westeros then and we'll take the black hole element out of it again. Okay, what if we put like a Jupiter sized planet on the same orbit? Oh, wow. Jupiter's just going straight in there. Oh. I wonder how that would settle. Let's speed that up. So, would Jupiter like, ever come back? Okay, I need to go even faster. It's not fast enough. Wow. Jupiter is just doing its own thing. <laughs> I wonder how long it would take for it to like... Oh, is that it? Is that the end? Is Jupiter off? Get out, Jupiter. You're not needed here. <laughs> All right, let's blow up Jupiter. Okay, Jupiter's exploded. So what if we put like a star that was like massive? So if we put something like Polaris in there, which is a huge, which is a huge one, we'll put it over here. How would that affect Westeros? Does it affect it at all? Oh my God. Oh, <laughs> that was just nuts. Okay, let's just slow that down. So what it would actually do is create a supernova. If we come out even further, look at the size of that. That is massive. And that star is just flying away from where it was. 
Okay, our sun is really powerful. So what if we just put our sun like over here instead? I mean, would that pull Westeros over towards it eventually? Oh wow, our sun's our sun's colliding. Oh, so look. So look how close these suns are. They're kind of just passing over each other. So that's Earth's sun there. Okay, so this again. <laughs> we could just play around with Westeros like all day. Where is Westeros? Oh, we lost it. So the suns are kind of just fighting with each other's gravity in the middle now. And I'm guessing that's going to be until one hits the other one, right? I mean, that's going to be an issue. Let's just see how that goes. Oh, there you go. So there's the first one. Oh, oh my god. So that is the power of our sun when it explodes. Now that is that is full supernova. I mean that is that is an astronomical size. Okay, what if we just launched a load of moons at Westeros? I mean look at that. That's Westeros just being railed by moons. I love this. I can just keep firing at it. Wow, so now it's just like a fireball. So now it's like a hundred, hundred and something degrees, but look how quick it cools. It kind of looks like a tiger planet now. And look, because of the temperature gauge, it just puts it back to normal. Okay, what if I launch like a, like a few small moons? So like one, wow, I can't even, I can't even see. Oh, it's outrunning them. This one's going to hit it though. Oh, so the moons are colliding into each other. Oh, and there it is, look. The temperature on there just hit 700 degrees. All the other moons kind of just just gave up on life. <laughs> but it hit like 700 degrees. All right, do you know what? We can do that better. We can do that better. Okay, what if we launched Earth? What if we actually launched Earth at Westeros, right? Okay, so first things first, then let's actually crash five Earths into Westeros and see just how that pans out. Here we go. Oh, they're going away from it. <laughs> oh my god. So the Earths are escaping Westeros. Okay, okay. Now if I put them here, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's try that. So now I've got ten Earths surrounding Westeros. I mean, I don't even know what that would do to the uh, to the orbit of it. Are any going to crash into it? I mean, everything seems fine right now. <laughs> oh wait, one Earth's blowing up. Oh, that is, that is kind of a beautiful sight. <laughs> oh, there it goes. There it goes. There's Earth's crashing into Westeros. He's messed everything up now. How warm's the planet getting? What's, it's not winter now. It's 97 degrees on there. Oh my god. It is just railing the planet there. It's just going through. It has just consumed Earth. But it is extremely warm. Oh, it's now 3,000 degrees on there. <laughs> Look at all my other Earths. Every every other Earth's just like, just like in pieces. Oh, this fragment might hit. Is it going to hit? I think I can just fire Earths at Westeros. Let's fire a moon. There's a moon. There it is. There it goes. Is it going to hit? Yes, it is. There's a bigger moon. Oh my gosh. So it's got like an average temperature now of about 3,000 degrees. So let's fire an Earth into it. Oh yeah. That is what I'm talking about right there. Oh yeah. So that is now nearly 4,000 degrees. I know what you're thinking. It needs another, a bigger planet. Okay. What can we fire into it? Neptune. <laughs> that is never going to hit. Or is it? Oh, it is. Westeros is going to hit. Oh. <gasps> Okay, so it can it can actually take a lot of Earths, but it can't take a Neptune. <laughs> this is what science is all about. I mean, look how spectacular that looks. Okay, guys, I think we'll leave it there for now. I just wanted to play around kind of in the Westeros kind of universe, in their kind of galaxy, in their little area, and just see what it was like. But I thought this was really cool, as I said. Some astronomers just did this as a bit of an April Fool's joke back in back in 2013, and I just thought it'd be cool to actually play about with that little solar, with that little solar system and see just how it works out. If you like this, make sure you don't forget to leave me a thumbs up. If you're not part of the Latana army already, don't forget to press that red button, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching, guys.